this video is going to be short and sweet. Basically, uh, I can multiply and divide integers. Uh, we've already looked at integers are basically all the positive and negative whole numbers and zero. So we're not worrying about any fractions or decimals here. Um, there's basically two steps that you can follow uh, to take something that sometimes can be considered kind of complicated to make it into something really simple. Uh, first off, all you have to do is go ahead and divide or multiply the numbers just like you always have. So 3 times 4 is 12. And if they're both positive, your answer is going to be positive. Now, when we get to this situation right here, a negative number, you know, when negative numbers start popping up, go ahead and multiply your numbers, but pretend like that negative sign is not there. 2 times 5 is 10. But then, if you do this little drawing of a triangle, and I call it Papa's Test because it kind of looks like a slice of pizza that you could get from Papa John's. And uh, then all you do is you take a look and go, well, let's see, this is a negative number, so I'm going to cover up one of these negative signs. And remember, this, this triangle that you're going to draw, it's going to have two negative signs and one positive sign. It's a little code that you can use. This is a negative number, so it was negative 2. This is a positive number. And so all that you have left is a negative sign in that um, Papa's test, which means that your answer will be negative. So then you can take this off and set up for your next question. What's 3 times 6? Well, that's 18. Cover up a positive for that positive 3, and then cover up the negative sign, or one of the negative signs for that negative 6, and you see that the answer has to be negative. It works every single time. Works for a division also. So here we go. Um, 4 times 8 is 32. We have a negative 4, so cover up a negative sign. We have a negative 8, so cover up the other negative sign. And that means that your answer has to be positive. And you're done. Um, it works for division in the same way. Let's take a look at these multiplication problems real quick. I would pause it and then come back and check it positive 4 times negative 3 means that your answer will be a negative. 4 times 3 is 12. Clear your Papa's test chart there. 2 times 22 is 44. We have two negative numbers multiplying each other, so the answer is positive. 5 times 4 is 20. Cover the negative for the 5. Cover the positive for that 4, and that means that your answer is negative. And then 6 times 12 is 72. Positive times negative, so cover the positive, cover up the negative. This means that your answer will be negative. And I, I realized that I forgot to actually show any division, so let's just do that one real quick. Let's do negative 20 divided by positive 4. Well, negative 20 divided by positive 4, or 20 divided by 4 is 5. Let's go ahead and cover it up. That's a negative 20. This is a positive 4. We're left with a negative, so this has to be a negative 5. That's how we multiply or divide integers.